things are starting to heat up with the hot tags of the week where we break down what's going on with the current events in wrestling. And actually, there's not much going on this week either. Last week, we only had one hot tag. This week, we only have one hot tag. The only thing that is noteworthy in my mind to mention, because a lot of it's just hearsay and speculation and crap that we can skip past anyway, WWE wants to have a new animated web series called Camp WWE where Vince McMahon is like the headmaster of a camp of a bunch of WWE superstars. Uh, maybe that would be kind of funny. Probably it would be stupid as hell. It depends on where they take it. If they get somebody who is a talented writer and they don't try to just market this to kids, they could have some decent jokes in it, but more than likely I think this is going to be one of those real piece of shit shows that I watch one episode of and I can't watch anymore. What do you guys think about this, Steven? I had no idea it was coming on and I got no fucking interest in seeing it. If it was bad as that shitty little Thanksgiving one they did on WWE.com some years back, then I got no interest whatsoever. Brian? Um, yeah, I'm not bothered with this. Uh, next they're going to be doing WWE Babies. <laughs> they might be doing that. Oh, God. To be fair, the chibi animation on YouTube is pretty awesome. The what animation? Have you not seen the like their little versions of the wrestlers in kindergarten and shit? That's funny. I if you if you anyone's seen it on YouTube. Does it have uh, like abundance of swearing in it? Fair swearing. It normally just takes a bunch of audio quotes and make them really funny and shit. Um, but yeah, if you search uh, WWE wrestlers Chibi, there's like twenty animations. It's pretty good. Hmm. Yeah, I think because of the swearing, that's probably why. But they're probably trying to aim it at kids. So it's going to have John Cena going and talking to cutie. And then they're going to go on little adventures. And I'm going to die inside. Actually, from my understanding, it's going to be an adult primetime cartoon. Really? Yeah. Really? So it's funny. They're going to have the actual product where people are fighting on screen aimed at kids. And they're going to have a cartoon aimed for adults. Is it going to be like Ren and Stimpy or something where it's just fucking yeah, it's, awful? Yeah, it's, no, it's going to be like Bob's Burgers or something like that where it's going to be... You know, a kid could watch it, but an adult is going to enjoy it so much more for what's going on there. Because huh. they're going to have the, basically the lines that go over the kids' heads. From, from, from what I understand, they got some really good writers on board. I, I missed if you had said any of their names. They got someone who was on The Simpsons, I think. Really? They, they, yeah. just, need to, they just need to remake it in the same way that uh, South Park made the WWE episode. <laughs> it took a job! Well, it depends on which Simpsons writer. Did they get, like, John Schwartzwelder or something? I doubt it, but... Yeah, because if they got that, I'm totally sold on this. But if they got one of the people that's been responsible for the last oh, ten seasons, then that's got to be... You know what? I don't think it was The Simpsons, actually. I think it might have been Aqua Teen Hunger Force. Now oh, I hate oh, that show. Okay. It's going to be fucking shit. I can't stand that show. That's almost bad as Squidbillies. I can't stand that either. I can't stand most things on Cartoon Network. That's on Cartoon Network? Yeah. I don't swim, you mean. It's the same thing, isn't it? No. Nah. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I, I know it's Cartoon Network station. No, yeah, Adult Swim is Cartoon Network. It's their it's their adult cartoon block at the end of the night. Yeah. Either way, I don't watch any of it anyway. But so if they end up having writers from that, then I'm not gonna like this whatsoever. Or if they have the writers that what was the his name Tyler Rex when he tried to do his animated thing with oh, Kurt Hawkins totally and awesome. all that. If they have the same people that did that, that was fucking terrible too. Yeah, I don't know if he got released because it was that bad or because it was just that goddamn awful. I think he got released because he was that pointless. He really didn't do anything in WWE. He was one of those people that I kept saying for the longest time, when are they just going to release him? Well, he did have a good, like, re-debut. What, when he was uh, all buffed out and everything? Yeah, and he had that weird freaking shit locks going on in his head. <laughs> you on about Tyler Rex? Yeah. Um, they, they was doing that wild card thing in the Survivor Series for him for a while. Um, yeah, he had a bit of a surge of popularity, well, not popularity, of relevancy, and then died off again. Uh, was yeah, it? that was kind of within seconds. Yeah. Camp WWE, though, I don't know. I mean, I'll give it a shot. I'll give pretty much anything a shot when it comes to WWE. For the most part, I'm not going to be that impressed, I bet. But, hey, I thought that Total Divas was going to be awful, and I like watching that show, so you never know. It could be something entertaining. Anybody else have any other uh, thoughts on it? Nah. Nah. Is what it is. Alrighty, we're going to take a little break here before we start getting into the main event discussion. 
and uh, do a little rest hold.